We have a lot to cover in today's video. A lot of news to go over with you guys. I'm going to try to fit it as fast as humanly possible for you. Antoine Randall L. is getting interviewed for the OC job of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We're going to talk about that. Give you my thoughts there. Lions free agents who are current free agents. That's going to be, you know... We got to look to re-sign or potentially just continue to let go. We'll go over the list to give you my thoughts there. Aaron Glenn and Ben Johnson right now are interviewing for the Washington Commanders head coaching job. There's two jobs left for head coaches, and we got two coordinators interviewing for one of those jobs. Give you my thoughts there. Seven Lions in the Pro Bowl, two added alternates that after the Lions didn't make that championship game, San Francisco did. It pushed these guys in, so the Lions got a total of seven Pro Bowlers. Let's get started with Antoine Randall L. right now. He is interviewing for the OC position for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Antoine Randall L. done a phenomenal job being a Detroit Lions coach, helping out wide receivers such as Amon Ross, St. Brown, Josh Reynolds, and Khalif Raymond. They as a group, has been great. Even though they're not the biggest names in the world, they have been great. And honestly, it has to do with what they do on the field and their determination. But, you know, you got to give credit where credit's due. And Antoine Randall L. is a good coach, and he's coached these wide receivers up. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have taken notice and potentially elevate their offense by adding him as offensive coordinator. Now, losing coaches, it sucks, but that's a part of being a good franchise. We are now a good franchise. We're going to lose coaches, and we got to understand how to just bring new ones in and develop coaches just like you develop talent. I wish Antoine Randall L. the best. It'd be great for him to get the OC job, even though I would like him to stay as a Detroit Lion. But Question for you, will Antoine Randall L. get the offensive coordinator position? Why for yes and, and for no? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Lions got a ton of free agents, and here is the list. You got safety C.J. Garner-Johnson. I would like to bring him back. I don't think they do. That's just my personal belief here because of more of a financial situation. I know a lot of Lions fans like or don't like him. That will be interesting to see what happens there. Romeo Aquara, Charles Harris, and Emmanuel Mosley, I don't think are coming back. Graham Glasgow, the Lions could bring him back on a one-year deal, and that's because Jonah Jackson, I don't believe, is coming back to the Detroit Lions. His contract, I think he wants more than the Lions are willing to give. Halapluti Vati Vaitai is not coming back, so that makes guard a position of need for the Detroit Lions. Dan Skipper, you know he's going to be back. He may, he'll may compete for the 53. He probably doesn't make the initial 53, but he gets added at some point because everyone likes Dan Skipper. Michael Badgley, they could draft a kicker. It's very possible. Wide receiver Josh Reynolds, I wouldn't mind bringing him back to a one-year deal. Teddy Bridgewater is going to retire. Hennon Hooker will be your backup. Safety, Will Harris will not be returning to the Detroit Lions. I don't believe he does. Jalen Reeves maybe could return. Sudfield is not returning. Matt Nelson is not returning as well. We're going to continue on with a lot more free agents, but before we do that, let me do a shout-out for the sponsor of today's video, and that is the great prize picks. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS code CLNS. They'll match your deposit, match up to $100. And if you want to spice up your NFL Sunday or now since Sunday's pretty much done, you can do any game day. Look no further than prize picks. You want to let, play alongside some of prize picks' favorite players like rapper Meek Mill and comedian Andrew Schultz. You can now find community plays in the promos tab to view some of the biggest names in the prize picks community each week. Prize picks even offers a reboot policy so your players stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. For football and basketball games, if a player exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, that player is rebooted. Prize picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with injury insurance policy. For tonight's hockey game, I got Johnny and Zach getting more than 0.5 points per game so get started with prize picks right now it's prizepicks.com slash clns code clns for a deposit match up to 100 dollars. why is it code clns because that's our ad agency partner use code clns it's real easy four letters get a hundred dollars match when you sign up so download the app today the link will be in the description and comment section of this video it's prizepicks.com slash clns code clns 
Let's continue on with more free agents here. You have Julian Aquara. He was already released, and he's not coming back. You have long snapper Jake McQuaid. Does it really matter? You'd be... Doesn't really matter situation. Craig Reynolds, I wouldn't mind bringing back to a one-year deal. Cornerback Kendall Vildor, 26 here. I wouldn't mind bringing him back as a backup, but not a starter. Fullback Jason Cabinda, he'll probably be back because the coaching staff likes him, but doesn't really serve much of a use if you ask me. Shane Zilstra could compete. Scott Daly could come back, just like the Jake McQuaid situation. It doesn't really matter. Brock Wright, he'll be back. Benito Jones, he'll be back. Anthony Pittman to compete. Donovan Peoples-Jones, I'd like to bring him back on a one-year deal. He did fine for the Detroit Lions of trade. Cornerback Khalil Dorsey, does it really matter? Zonovan Knight, he could compete. I don't think Jerry Jacobs is coming back. James Houston probably will be back. That's what I'm going to kind of guess right there. So question for you. Name one player you want to bring back to the Detroit Lions to re-sign. It doesn't have to be the biggest name in the world. It could be a Dan Skipper. I love Dan Skipper. I'll put him as the guy who I want to bring back. But there's a lot of players out there. So give me one player you want the Lions to resign. Let's go ahead and talk about two players added to the Pro Bowl, making a total of seven for the Detroit Lions. Aiden Hutchinson was already in the Pro Bowl. But Amon Ross St. Brown was added due to San Francisco. And Jameer Gibbs was added as well. So the Lions got St. Brown, Jameer Gibbs, Sam Laporta, Frank Ragnow, Panay Sewell, and Jalen Reeves made a total of seven. And there could be more. You have Jared Goff, who, who's another alternate. He was, he was named second alternate right there. Uh, David Montgomery was also named an alternate for the game. And Alex Anzalone was another alternate. I, I don't know. Maybe Jared Goff gets in there. But I don't know about that. I don't believe the other two will. But look, we don't want to be in the Pro Bowl. It sucks. We want to be in the, the Super Bowl. But it didn't happen. And it's cool to see that you got a lot of players for the Detroit Lions being represented the most that I can remember. Seven? That's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. But since St. Brown made the Pro Bowl, show some love to St. Brown. Put 14 in the comment section. We love Amon Ra first down. He's just getting it done for this football team. And we absolutely, fundamentally, Love them. Let's get into these coordinator jobs. You have two coordinators here interviewing for head coaching for the Washington Commanders. First up is Aaron Glenn. He is interviewing for the Washington Commanders job, Sam Ben Johnson. And I know it sounds bad, but I don't think he has, I don't think he's going to get the job. I don't think he's going to get the job. I think it's Ben Johnson's job to uh, decide if he wants it or not. Why do I think that? Because Washington Commanders has been rumored to be with Ben Johnson the whole time. We've been hearing it for a month. And Aaron Glenn's defense wasn't the greatest. Now, he did get better. Second half of the season, making those critical benchings of Jerry Jacobs and Walker. I think that was pivotal for Aaron Glenn, why this defense got better. And I love what he did with the blitzing, the safety, and the corner blitzes. He did a really good job right there. He did, but we all know who the main attraction is, and that is Ben Johnson. He's the main attraction. He has made this offense an elite offense for two years now. The, the offense has been good for two and a half years. He's done a phenomenal job with Jared Goff in all sorts of the weapons that he has and utilize them. He's a top candidate for a job throughout the whole National Football League. And I think it's his job to lose. That is my personal belief here. And I, 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 I love Ben Johnson, right? I, th I think that I'd love for him not to get the job because I want him back in Detroit. He is that good as, as a coordinator. Now, look, he, is he perfect? No. We have criticized him. But, man, when you have top five offense, basically, like nearly two and a half years straight, you did a pretty good job. So I think he has got the commander's job. That is my personal belief. What do you think? Who gets the, the Washington commander's job? Do you think it's Ben Johnson? Put BJ for Ben Johnson. Do you think that Aaron Glenn gets the Washington commander's head coaching job? Put AG in the comments below. 
What happens if Aaron Glenn gets the job, or what happens if Ben Johnson gets the job? If Ben Johnson gets the job, here are some coaches that the Detroit Lions could look to the new OC. And I think that the biggest name on this list for me that you have to look at for potentially getting that job is going to be probably, and I, th- I think we all got, kind of got to uh, say this, is is Steve Hyden could be. That could be a guy. It could be Tanner Ingstrand, Frank Haley, or Mark Brunel. Tight ends coach is probably going to give it, not get it, in my opinion. Steve Hyden. That could be the individual. That could be the new OC for the Detroit Lions. So look, if Aaron Glenn gets it, I think it's a little bit easier. You got John Fox. That's a senior defensive staff and Kelvin Shepard. I think those two would be the guys who the Lions would look to get. It'd go down to those those two if Aaron Glenn got the uh, head coaching job. It'd be John Fox or Kelvin Shepard would be the Lions' new defensive coordinator, potentially, for for that group of people. I th- Again, I think it's Ben Johnson. He's going to get it. And that's why you need to hit that notification bell. Literally, by the time you're watching this, maybe news has broken out about uh, one of these jobs or, or any of those jobs because it's going to be quick. So hit that notification bell. Expect a breaking news video that, you know, we we lost a coordinator. So get ready for that. Uh, again, we're dropping videos every single day. I know it's the off season. Free agency in the NFL draft is going to be pounded on this channel, so get ready for that. With that said, folks, adios.